At Direct Service Garage Doors, we are your one-stop shop for all things garage door. From garage door repair and broken spring replacement to new garage doors and openers, we do it all. We're proud to be among the highest rated local garage door companies in all of Northwest Arkansas. Our highly trained technicians are available 24 hours a day at no extra cost to you. So if you have an emergency, call us today, 479-203-5880, or visit our website at directservicenwa.com. Don't wait days. We'll fix it now. Everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. I realize I'm late to the dance here. I'm I'm late. Everyone beat me to the punch, but that's great. You know what? That's fine. I'm okay with that. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. We have had uh, just a wow. I mean, holy crap. My phone's been blowing up for the last couple of hours. I leave to go pick up my daughter's or my uh, my oldest daughter out in Elkins on the way home, and my phone is just blowing up interrupting we were listening to the deftones on the way home and they just kept interrupting the come on man we're trying to listen to some deftones and i finally picked my phone up at a stoplight relax and saw that uh there's some calipari smoke <laughs> john, john calipari smoke is uh there's a lot of it there is a lot of smoke okay first off Thank you so much for being here on a 9.30 p.m. on a Sunday night. Like I said, I know I'm late to the show, but I'm glad I could be here. Glad I could be a part of the conversation. Shout out to uh, Direct Service Overhead, the garage door company. They operate out of central Arkansas and in northwest Arkansas. Same-day services, quality parts, affordable outcomes, hundreds of five-star reviews, better than best results. I can speak to that. Did a fantastic job on my brand new garage door that allowed me to build or to make this into a studio with the help of my neighbors and friends and family and my wife. So shout out to everybody involved with that. But the direct service overhead installed the door. It's awesome. I love it. Thank you guys so much. I highly recommend them. So give them a call today at 501-244-3667. All right. I already got, I put the link out. We've already got people lining up. We've already got people lining up. So if you want to call in, you might want to might want to consider calling in. Here we go. We got Pat on the line. What's up, Pat? I'm going to fix this. How you doing, man? We can't hear you, Pat. Uh-oh. He might be having some audio issues. Um, let's get Bill Clinton's uh What's going on, man? <laughs> Dude, I'm Bill stunned. Clinton's favorite secretary, what's up? I'm stunned right now. Do I don't okay. Even know what to think? Do you? Does this feel a little? I said this in Patreon and Discord. It feels a little Chris Beard like, except hey, how's it going? Folks chiming in. I feel better about the sources that are backing this one than the Beard sources. Okay. Like, Fair. if I remember correctly, the oh. guy who posted okay. originally is a lot better of a source. Uh, um, I don't know, Pat. We lost Pat. So it was Wes Moore that, that dropped this that I saw. That was the first. Yeah. That was the first one that I saw. And... Uh, I'm trying to pull up his exact tweet here really quick. Uh, Wes Moore. This was 8.12 p.m. 
this already has 2.4 i don't know uh, hold on that's a, that's his gif i guess twitter keeps up with your view count on gifs i don't know on gifs sorry supposed to be the g multiple sources are telling me arkansas has zeroed in on john calipari bearing uh any last minute issues i expect him to be the new uh to be the razorbacks new head coach yeah I, I kind of trust him more as a source because if you look through his stuff, he wasn't really like buying in on the beard stuff originally. And this is like a big step for him to post this out of the blue. Yeah. I don't know what he said. I was trying to, I was trying to go through there to see if he had made any comments about Chris beard or Wade, because this has just been a wave of like one day it's Wade, the, you know, or, or several hours later it's, it's uh Chris Jans. You know, uh, it's it's like every few hours, it, it the names start to kind of rev up a little bit. We get something different. This is this does feel different. John Calipari, and who's tweeting about it? This does feel different. Now, I will say, I won't say this person's name, but I did reach out to a media member. I reached out to several. A couple of them responded. Um. My comment to this person, I will tell you, this is a very, very well dialed in uh, Razorback media guy here. I said this, this, this feels like beard, or I'd said that this feels like beard all over again. His response is, I never say never, but that would be beyond absolutely stunning. Would solve a lot of issues. Young Kentucky fans want a new coach. Old fans don't want to pay the $34 million buyout. Negotiated settlement at 18 to 20 million. Kentucky gets a new guy. Arkansas gets the splash higher, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I asked about the buyout. He says that that's Kentucky's deal. Uh, they made him, uh, uh, they gave him the lifetime deal. Anything he would make here would come out of his Kentucky going away check. Um, if Calipari were to leave Kentucky for another coaching job, he owes no buyout according to terms of a 10 year contract extension he signed from 2019. So if this is – this feels like a match made in heaven for both fan bases. And I like the way he laid that out right there. We have some other people calling in. We've got Andrew. What's going on, Andrew? Oh, no, he dipped out. Taylor, what's up, man? Hey, Ty. What's going on, man? What's up? How you doing? Uh, I'm doing all right, man. Uh, I usually go by I am Peru. It's been – for my tens of fans out there. Uh, yeah, I, man, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, my dad's a Kentucky fan, and half my family's from Clarksville, Arkansas, on the other half's from Franklin, Kentucky. And uh, even he's like, like, really? You want that? Like, I, um, He's part oh, of the sorry. fan base over there at UK that just wants Cal gone. On3 just posted it. Sorry to interrupt. On3 just oh, you're posted good. You're good. it. On three just posted. Yeah, they said that he's in talks to be the next head coach, according to like one of their sources. Let me see here. Let's uh, let me share this for chat. Uh, continue on, Taylor. Go ahead, man. You keep talking. Yeah, so, I'm pull this up. Thanks, Ty. So, just some two cents here. Um, I can't help but wonder, given Cal's age, given his career length, a couple of things about his career. Number one, everywhere he's been, when he would leave, they uncovered mountains of violations and some sort of issues. Now with NIL, who knows, some of those issues might, might no longer be issues legally anymore. I don't know. But also with his age, I can't help but wonder, are we going to be looking for another coach in three to four years? He's 65. Because, yeah. Um, He's been doing this a long time, mm -hmm. and so if he if he comes on the hill, great. You know, I'm I'm, I'm not going to turn my back on the Hogs, but at the same time, I, I, this is a mixed a mixed bag of. I'm not sure how I feel about it. That um, personally, I, with with hundred year checks, uh, track record on hiring coaches. No disrespect to Sam Pittman, but we we never get that first guy. We don't get the second guy, and the third guy could be a crapshoot, and you end up with a Sam Pittman, and that's not entirely bad. But that being said, um, I, I was, I, I did not message Bucky. Um, I leave things like this alone. I grew up with Bucky McMillan, 
the head oh. coach at Stanford. And um, I frankly would be stoked to see him as a head coach, but I would not be surprised to see him or someone like him as a head coach, because I feel like Hunter Yurchek just, I don't know what his deal is. He just seems to burn bridges or burn matches or can't just get that big fish. And, and that's, Hunter? that's, that's, yeah, Hunter Yurchek. That's, that's my opinion. Like when he, when we were left with Sam Pittman, like we were just burning through like all these big names to find our, our head football coach. Well, with our head basketball coach, I'm nervous. We're going to be going through the same thing again of, you know, whether it's nobody wants to be here, which I refuse to believe Arkansas basketball is, is one of the pinnacle jobs in the country. And I'll stand by that as long as I live. Let me, let um, me just add to this though. Yeah, I, go ahead. I, I hear what you're saying, and, and I think it's a pretty valid point that in and who knows what you're going to be doing, assuming it is Calipari, assuming it is this guy. Um, there is a really big trade off in all this. I don't know that there's another coach available who can recruit at the level that Calipari recruits at, and that would include Eric Musselman. He did a great job at Memphis. Now, I know there were some issues there, whatever, but yeah. like you said today, that's we're in a different world. The only other coach that's available that I think could recruit close to this level would be Will Wade. And mm-hmm. even Will Wade doesn't – I don't think Will Wade hold, holds a candlestick to John Calipari as far as a recruiter. I mean, you just look at his top three names right off his 100%. list. And it, it trumps everything. Now, to be fair, Calipari has also had a lot – He's been in, he's, he's been coaching for decades. I mean, he's been around the block. You know, Will Wade is much younger. Let's add in uh, Pat. I don't know. I'm sorry. The screen's uh, – let me take the – Pat, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, man. Hey, what's going on, fellas? What's up, man? Good evening. Hey, Ty. Hey, man. Get this gold chain out, man. <laughs> Get it out. Dust it off. I know you was ready to put it up for the – you know what I mean? For the rest of the spring, you know, going into football season. But um, looks like you might need it, man. Just – Okay, so that's fair. If, again, I'm going to keep saying this until it happens. You guys know, I remember Data Altman. I remember this stuff. I remember all the rumors, okay? Up until Jeff Long, it seemed like Arkansas could never get these kind of hires. How does this affect? We just went from Hunter Yurchek needs to be fired. I mean, let's be real. The majority of Hog fans were saying this just two days ago. Now what's his? Now what do you? We just did yeah. a, we just did a grading thing a couple of uh, a couple of days ago on a live show. Where does this put Hunter Yurchek with the with the fans? How do you guys think the fans will receive this? It does this bail Hunter Yurchek out? Yeah, this man. is like uh, the dumb. And, this is like the dumb and dumber like clip where it's like uh, he's mad at him for selling the car, and then he just like goes on and says, "But then you totally redeemed yourself." <laughs> And then they whiff on the high five. <laughs> <laughs> but no, man. Hey, this definitely gets Hunter Yurichek off the hook. You know, I brought up the stuff before between him and um, Jake Beckett. I think Jake was the one that really kind of put some real pressure on uh, Yurichek. But I'm sure he's connected, too. So he knew a lot of boosters and whatever for him to take the stance that he did when everybody was like, wait a minute, he's coming at your check. But we've seen the football season collapse. We saw the basketball season collapse. Now, Dave Van Horn, hey, he's doing his job. But mm-hmm. he was doing it before uh, Hunter got here. So, you know, right now, this is, I mean, this outdoes the Bobby Petrino thing. He kind of saved football by getting those who hate Bobby Petrino's guts here in Arkansas and put him back in here. And of course, a lot of fan base was like, yeah, of course, you know, bring Bobby back. But if he can pull off and bring Calipari in here, are you kidding me? Man, no, no, that, that put, that is a G move by Hunter Juracek, hands down. Yeah, that's a, that's a big money move. And the rumor is, and someone already pointed it out in chat that the Tysons got involved. Now I, I can't confirm that. I'm sure I'm, I'm going to be asking around next week when I'm at practice. What have you guys heard? Who's involved? How much of this is Tyson's hunt? George, the George's family, who all's involved with this? I'd love to know if, if uh, anyone's willing to let anything slip, 
But uh, Justin McCollum, this is going to take up the whole page here, but uh, the Tyson fan, biggest Arkansas donor, is prepared to make a major commitment to bring Cal to Arkansas, sources said. Cal is very close with the Tyson family and has been for years. This can happen. We've also been hearing that with him, they're wanting to invest a ton into NIL along with it. So it's like a package deal. I'll remember when Mizzou got that $60 million deal whatever it was, several months ago. Y'all remember that? It was an anonymous donor. Everyone assumed it was the Waltons. Um, it feels like that, like this, maybe this is Arkansas's, this is theirs, right? Like they're going to get theirs. Maybe this is Arkansas getting theirs. Now, I will say in several group chats that I'm in and the DM groups that I'm in, it's just exploding right now. There are, and, and you guys have already brought it up, and I think someone in chat brought it up. There is the concern that you're getting a worn out Calipari, that you're getting a guy that is 65. That's you know, listen, I'm 40, man, and I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I'm not the same guy that I was even 10 years ago. I'm just not. This guy's 65. He's been put through the ringer at Kentucky. Are we gonna get peak Calipari like what he did early on? You know, the Elite Eights, the Final Fours, the National Championship. Or is this just something safe for the next four to five years? Uh, Pat said that, or not Pat, I'm sorry, Taylor mentioned that a little bit ago. Are we getting a Calipari where maybe in four years we're, we're right here looking all over again for someone uh, to, to replace Calipari? Hey. Um, Pat, you can go first. Yeah, two things on that. First of all, Musk was hitting on 60 himself, okay? That's fair. And – the thing that Calipari really brings to the table, because I'm not, you know, oversold on his coaching necessarily, is his recruiting. And the last two years going, he's recruited the top. Last year, he had the number one recruiting class in the country. And even at Kentucky right now, he has the number two. So he may not be the greatest X and O's guys, but he definitely hasn't fallen off when it comes to recruiting. And that's definitely one of the things we need right now. We could have brought in another coach, but with the roster in the shape that is it, that is in right now, you need somebody like this. I mean, if you want to still compete, if you want to do like LSU and start over from scratch and kind of rebuild like that, okay, good luck. But this gives us a chance to bring in a guy who can bring in top-tier talent. Not only some of the guys he's already got, he can bring back some of the guys that must have ran off. He's going to bring in other guys from across the country. And, hey, man, you know, I, I, you know, Arkansas people, you know, we're a little um, jaded, I guess. <laughs> you know, we're looking a gift horse right dead <laughs> out. You just said it, Ty. Earlier today, everybody was ready to um, jump off the bridge, you know, and ready to write the basketball program off. This move right here in one single swoop. Hunter Euro check, if he pulls it off, if, you know, along with Tyson yeah. and the court, you know, somebody like this, he gets the boosters involved. Just like you said, you know, um, it re reinvigorates NIL, which was hurting too. This is a brilliant move if he can pull it off. I agree. This is a, this, uh, with the skepticism in hand, with the age, how much longer do we get out of Calipari? In, like knowing that this is the best possible hire you could make i think it's better than wade uh, i think it's better than definitely I think agree. it's better than chris jans um because we were really starting to look at or at least if you were paying attention to hog twitter today like yeah, you well. said pat it was like everyone was ready to just jump off a damn bridge <laughs> like the like wondering. keith smart i think keith smart's name came up and like i like keith smart he's one of my favorite former assistants but like it got. It felt like we're at the bottom of the barrel, and now holy crap! Yeah, this is incredible. Uh, this, is, this is legit. I'm seeing like some big time names like floating this around, and there's a senior analyst at CBS that just said uh, Calipari notified the University of Kentucky that he is interviewing and negotiating a contract with us right now. Wow! Like he has a contractual like obligation to tell like the AD at Kentucky like whenever he's about to sign or like in contact with another team and he just did so so the only thing that does i don't want to say it's a red flag why tuesday like why if typically this sort of stuff 
He's either on a plane tonight or he's here tomorrow. Yeah. Why are we dragging this out till Tuesday? Probably. That's the thing with me where I'm like, wait a minute. Y'all saw how quickly Musk, I mean, within 12 hours, that dude was gone. Yeah, that, and it, it, it didn't it's, it's it didn't probably. help that the the um the hundred year check bus video must bus video hundred year check podcast interview like there was so much I'm a skeptical person I guess by nature but uh, uh the optics of all that no must was mm -mm, no no and and to to Mister Pat's point I, I know I, I see him all over the map again I'm just a very skeptical person but to Pat's points someone like Calipari credit where it's due we need offensive schemes and we need a big man and not just one big man you need a couple of them and all of his rosters at kentucky have had at least one yeah that's but that's now, the, yeah. now to, your, to your question why tuesday uh it may be because they want to wait till after the national championship game maybe they don't want to upstage you know the game coming up tomorrow let Good they point. get it booked yeah It'll and be all about Arkansas. That's valid, and I thought about that earlier when I posted that in Discord in the Patreon chat. By the way, if you're not a Patreon supporter, you guys were missing out on some great stuff in the Patreon chat in our Who You Gonna Get and in our basketball forums. Um, well, I mean, they're just killing it. And, and while I, Again, while I'm off driving to Elkins to go pick up my oldest daughter, they're just going crazy in there. Um, but – I thought about that when I posted that in there. Wait a minute. Why is this wait until Tuesday? And, of course, the whole national championship thing. As far as I know, he has no plans of going. Um, now, that maybe maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe Kentucky media will, will uh, fill us in on that part. I, I hadn't heard. I looked it up. I tried looking before going live. I've not heard that he was attending, that he was heading out west for that. So, I, to me, it makes all the sense in the world get on a plane tomorrow morning and get here and then the faster you can get on these guys in the portal like boom we're on you're on you're on daddy's time now baby yeah. you're on it's time to recruit this well let's wait till tuesday that's just a what to me like all right hold on but i i think that's i think that's just again that hog post-traumatic stress syndrome you know the the day <laughs> open the it's it's the you know whiffing on on coaches it's probably that i know someone's gonna roast me like ty give it up he's gonna be the guy he probably is gonna be the guy but that was a little strange to me like why isn't he on a plane tonight or why isn't he on a plane tomorrow if this whole thing's getting worked out at least tomorrow <laughs> i mean you know the game is what what time is the game tomorrow six six no eight twenty p.m yeah i mean nine my on. time what are we doing like let's go what a time to think about it. If he were to take the job and he came here in the morning or sometime in the afternoon, you don't think they might bring that up on the broadcast tomorrow night during a national championship game? I think they probably would mention it. Or, I don't know, at least that would be a good time. It's it's your last opportunity. It's the last primetime game. It's the last game of the season. I don't know, man. I'm looking at it from a marketing standpoint, too. Like, do everything you can to put your name out there. How big – this is the one of those type of hires that will shake the the it will shake the world of college basketball. I'm not saying you're bringing him here and national championships are going to come out your out your ears. I'm not saying that. Calipari is one of the if not biggest biggest names in coaching period in in the college ranks whether you're talking football, basketball, baseball, he is one of the biggest names. Yeah, I, I I don't know. If I'm Hunter, I'm doing everything I can. If I'm if I'm the Tyson family, whoever, hey, let's get you here tomorrow. Let's try to be a part of the headlines because I I feel like that would shake the world. So not only are they talking about the national championship, but now they're talking about Arkansas grabbing Kentucky's head coach. It's a little it's a little Eddie Sutton revenge. All these years later, forty years later, we get the Eddie Sutton revenge when he left Arkansas for Kentucky. So and there's also the other side of it too. Tuesday, you get that whole day to yourself. There is no basketball. There is no national championship on Tuesday. So I could also understand that argument as well. But I, I don't know. That is That was at first a red flag for me while I was very skeptical um, was because of that. Like, wait, we're talking about Tuesday. Um, you're, you're overthinking it, Ty. Well, you know, I, even well, right I, now, man, it's going to be the talk. Even just the rumors. and the, I mean, not even rumors at this point. The fact that they're actually in negotiations, actually in talks. It's going to, to some degree, upstage the game already. You know, the actual signing, you know, that can happen later. But in terms of 
just uh, bringing attention to Arkansas and kind of stealing the spotlight, that's going to happen anyway. And yeah. while you were talking, something kind of occurred to me that this may be. Uh, you talked about how um, Muss and um, Calipari were, you know, they were they were cool. They were good friends compared to a lot of SEC coaches. And it may be um, Calipari kind of throwing a bone to the Tysons and the people at Arkansas because prior to this coming out, everybody was turning on the whole program and thinking like, oh, is this the best we can do? Daryl Walker and Chris Jans. And it was like our basketball program is sunk. Just by John Calipari showing legitimate interest in Arkansas, that's going to make other coaches who might not have even been interested in Arkansas all of a sudden say, wow, Cal's thinking about going to Arkansas. You know, maybe I need to check it out. Yeah. You know, that's something to think about. I'm going to say, know, Coach. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Ty. No, go ahead, Ty. Well, I was just going to say, I think part of what this did to not to, sh not to take a dump on local media, you know, um, <laughs> Boy, oh boy, you know, listen, just be careful who you listen to because we had people on Twitter yesterday telling us Will Wade's a done deal. He's a done deal. <laughs> I mean, we had, so this is why if I don't, if one, if I reach out to my four horsemen, I have four horsemen, really three of them are football related. One of them is pretty good with basketball information and a little bit of baseball. Um, if those four do not get back to me, I don't report it. I've had days where I've had three of them report to me the same thing. Or if I re I say report to me, I'm reaching out to them. Let's be real. I'm going to them for the information, not the other way around. Uh, and if the fourth one doesn't respond or, or – and I'm talking about something of this caliber. If, if, or if it's different information, I'm not reporting it. I'm not going to say it. I don't pretend to be some insider guru. I am who I am. I report on what I hear and what I see, what's probably already been reported, and I give you my take on it. That's how we got to over 1.3 million total views right here on this channel. That's how we got there, baby. I'm real, all right? I'm not going to pull some fake shit out of my back pocket like, oh, look, Will Wade signing. Man, be careful who you listen to. And uh, thank God, good. most of our Patreon people, yeah, there was some of it being posted. And it was like, well, here's so-and-so saying this. But I think they know, take it with a grain of salt. And yeah. uh, But uh, Wes Moore, that's different. Wes Moore, like I'm with you guys. I don't ever recall that guy getting burned. Maybe I'm wrong. And I'm not saying all local media. There's some local media people that do some incredible work. Oh, yeah. uh, they're really good. And there is such a thing, too, where you get burned uh, off a source. Sure. That, that ha like with recruiting, oh, man, don't even get me started. That happens, and there's some local media people that have been burned by that, and that probably is some of what happened this weekend. But just be careful of who you trust. Facebook groups, I've noticed, I'm not going to say names, but there's one group, I swear to God, they're right about 25% of the time, and when they're right, it's secondhand or thirdhand information. Just be <laughs> careful. That's all I I'm saying. Say, though, in your Discord, there were a couple people yesterday that were talking in there that kind of nailed it. I got a shout out Haas and uh, Celtics for life. Haas called this like four hours ago. I it was I don't know where he got this from because nobody else knew, not even Wes Moore. So Haas got that right, and he he shared that in our Patreon. So shout out That's to true. Haas. I don't know if he's in here or not. Um. All right, Taylor. I'm sorry, man. What yeah. No, no. The one quick point I was going to say was with this NIL transfer portal era that we're in. It's every so many kids are one and done, or at least that's their aspirations. Calipari's been doing that for two decades. He's been recruiting every single year under the notion that most of my guys are going to be one and done. So with that level of it, you know, lot, not a lot of other coaches can, can can say that or let alone have that experience. And so I think if this is what happens here on the Hill, um, I think that works out to the Hogs' favor. We've been 65 years old or not. He's been doing the, dealing with one-and-done kids for two decades. So I think that's a huge plus. Uh, J-Dog says he would take Daryl Walker over Cal any day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man. That's uh... – that's quite the take right there. Um, I don't even mad respect for what he did here. Mad respect for Daryl Walker. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> but no, I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> uh, I wish him all the luck, and 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 I hope he does better down at UVLR. Uh, let's see. I don't want a guy who had a round of 500 record, near sub 500 record at UALR. No offense to him. <laughs> uh, paying a 65 year old eight million bucks who has one postseason win in the in the last four years with the most loaded roster in basketball. Hmm. Does Andrew have a point? Yes. <laughs> I'd like to have the most loaded roster in basketball each year, though. I agree. I, I mean, Muss had one of the most loaded rosters last year and, and couldn't make the tournament. Um, I mean, say what you want. Kentucky made the tournament <laughs> even though they didn't go far. Dude, they uh, couldn't even get to the bus half the time, so let alone off of it. That was yeah. – uh, yeah. I love the potential hires as David Elliott. Yeah, I was looking at – I mean, you don't have to look far. I, could, I mean, but some of these names, Anthony Davis, Devin Booker, John Wall, uh, DeMarcus Cousins, these are all his guys, De'Aaron Fox, Jamal Murray. I know you guys remember him not that long ago. Carl Anthony Towns, uh, Bam Adebayo, uh, Julius Randle. I mean, the list just goes on. And so yeah. not Marcus only Marcus Camby get, at UMass. Yeah. Was, was it Marcus uh, Camby at UMass? Uh, was it? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I don't remember. But you're getting – I mean, think about this. He's getting all these guys that are going to have his back, too. I mean, you know these guys keep up with him. And from what I understand, his former players love him. I mean, I, I can remember Kentucky fans going on about that, um, you know, years ago. His former players love him, so now you're going to have him here. You know, it's going to be kind of cool that you've got this guy that has a roster. <laughs> you know, I mean, his former players can build, like, three rosters in the NBA. It's insane. I get the – yeah, you want on-court – production but like you guys have said and some people in chat has, have already stated he's had that on oh, production shoot. we just want to see it come back oh. uh this is kind of a uh, big um there's this one guy i just saw a report seven minutes ago said he reached a deal uh i'm not sure how his source is rob reinhardt but he's a he's a sports illustrated guy former bleach report uh, okay Said he's reached a deal, so that might be something. Sorry to interrupt. No, you're good. I'm going to pull this up, see if we can't get. Um, <laughs> Arkansas fans tell themselves John Kelapar is an upgrade for Muss. Um, I think sources believe. believe. Who is this? Uh, it's a small channel there, but sources believe with John Kelapari heading to Arkansas. Can you, oh, that's for. Uh, also our edge nil people posted like a kind of hit thing about it did they yeah they posted like just gonna drop this here for a couple i emojis and then link their nil Ooh, how long was calipari at kentucky uh god since 2000 god what was his first year oh nine is that right at, at least something like that, yeah. I think it was 09. Okay, because he okay. had built Memphis back up. He did, Kentucky got him. He took Memphis to what, like three straight or four straight sweet 16s. Yeah. I mean, it was mm -hmm. insane, you know. Not like Memphis isn't uh, they're not a bad basketball school, but that's still crazy. I mean, he put them right back on the map, yeah. 09, uh, Whitley there says 09. Yeah, I think that's right. 2009. Man. Jeff Goodman says, if John Calipari leaves Kentucky, one name that would be ideal for Kentucky is Alabama's Nate Oates. <laughs> 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 the carousel spins faster and faster. Please, please let us be that first domino for them to lose Nate Oates, please. I have been hearing also Scott Drew possibly to Kentucky and then Tang to Baylor. Oh, yeah. Oh, I could see that. Yeah, Tang to Baylor. That would make all the sense in the world. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> oh, man. I would love for that. <laughs> oh, that would be great, man. Poetic justice. We're going to force you to leave. And that would make the most sense. I think that's probably the most logical uh, leap for – Kentucky to make would be to go after Nate Oates, the guy that just got into the final four. We're going to add a fifth here. I don't know how this is going to work. Aiden, what's going on, man? I love that. 
Oh, what's, what's going picture? on? Yeah, I just kind of did that last second. Well done, sir. <laughs> Can you hear me decent? Here you fine. Awesome. Um, shoot, I might as well just uh, how do I take this off? There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. You gotta be at least eighteen to call in. Just FYI. Hey, hey believe it or not, I am. I'm at the U of A. <laughs> I think you've called in before. I, I have. Yeah. I have. Yeah. One time I called and you were like, "Wait, dude, we were talking about Bible training." And you were like, "Are you like sixteen or whatever?" I don't. It was. A, I they took it as a joke for sure, but I do look a lot younger than I am. Uh, well, hey, it'll come in handy when you reach uh, when you get into your forties. I'll just tell you that. What do you that, got for me, man? But I mean, I'm just I'm trying to make sense of it all. Like, I'm out shopping and I'm checking Twitter. I'm like, because I'm getting notifi- notifications like crazy, and it's you know, Cal possibly actually to Arkansas. And I'm thinking, what is going on? Um, but I don't know. I'm just I I dumbfounded. This is we went from Daryl Walker like either a smoke screener might actually be the guy and if so what are we doing at arkansas to cal might be coming to arkansas um really quick Alyssa orange just posted kentucky sports radio matt jones by the way i don't know if you guys have watched i don't know if you're into wrestling or not not to change the subject logan paul uh <laughs> matt jones this guy from kentucky uh, and apparently he was in a Twitter space and he said he can't confirm Cal Park uh, contacted UK to tell them he is talking to Arkansas. So just FYI. Mm-hmm. But uh, Matt Jones is the owner of it's a Netflix series called uh, Wrestlers. He's the own owner of that organization. Just something pretty cool to think about. Mm-hmm. Really good documentary. It follows uh, regional wrestling and it's uh, it's it reached the last of its days and there's like one territory left. that's not a part of the bigger groups, you know, anyways, it's worth a watch. That's who that is that Matt Jones. That's who that is. He's on that. He's in that documentary, big Kentucky guy, big Kentucky radio guy. I've seen him tweet out a couple things today. Uh, he's also the one, I think he brought up too, about the buyout about how, um, maybe that wasn't him. He, he did. He's tweeted several times today, but, um, yeah, this is, this is going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. Again, I'm with you guys on this as well, that this does. Here's Okay, here's the question. If you do get Calpar and this looks like it's a done, I don't Ooh. want to say that it is, but Ooh. it's a done deal. It Shoot certainly time. feels that way. What right, happens that. with the, does this affect the Pittman debacle? Because it sounds like they're throwing all their eggs in this in this basket. So now you go from maybe seven or eight wins for Sam Pittman. Does that come down to six? Do you think that because of this, maybe it takes a little bit of pressure off of him and he feels like, you know what, just get us to a bowl game, Sam. Do you think that this in any way affects what's going to happen with the outcome with Sam Pittman? I don't know. Pat, you can go first. Um, Yeah, I think so. Um, You know, like I sort of said before, you know, to me this is a Don Corleone move by – (laughs) <laughs> you know what I mean, you know, remember when in The Godfather, when it, it, you know, it looked like he was finished and all the so- sharks were circling and everybody was trying to fi- finish him off. And he went to church and next thing you know, he comes out of church and all his enemies have been cut down. If he brings Calipari to the basketball program with Bobby Petrino in place to succeed. Sam Pittman in football because I think, you know, the strategy there with the football program is, okay, Sam might not be the guy. You bring in um, Petrino for a year or two. They have a successful season, a respectable season. Maybe we can push Sam on out the way or maybe Sam comes back for another year and then we can really compete for an SEC championship or something. And um, we got our guy already in house. We got our foot, you know, our, our flagship programs: the football and the basketball. We got Van Horn in the basketball program, you Just know, done. riding high on top of the NCAA. Hunter Eurotech is once again in conversation as the best AD in the country, yeah. and in place to uh, move on as commissioner of the SEC, which a lot of people were talking about. Before all this stuff went left, not not to cut you I'm off. Sorry to butt in. Um, not, yeah, not to cut you off. We've got breaking. We, it's a done it deal, baby. It's in. It's wow! In. Holy yes, million. it's in. Call the hogs, baby. Get the chain tied. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, what? That's a done deal, baby. 
Should Unreal. I? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Trey Sapp is reliable. I'm texting my dad right now. <laughs> no Trey Sapp is reliable, way, but man. like, do I need to wait? Do I need to wait until on three reports? Because on three has been so be on. That would be a good idea. I got to get a on three. Man. But Trey Shap is reporting that John Calipari will be your next Arkansas Razorback basketball head coach. Holy, Holy crap. crap. This this Call is like hawk. this is like when they hired bear with me. This feels a little bit like when they hired Bobby Petrino. This is better. <laughs> I mean this way better. Than- well, but you gotta remember it's apples and oranges. I get it. But like Petrino was the offensive mind in football at the time. Yeah. Oh, you mean you know, the first time? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the first time. I'm yeah. not t- yeah, I'm not talking about the second time. Yeah, the second time it's kind of like a I don't know. I mean, I'm yeah. excited for it, but uh this feels like that level of hire. The only thing is, and the point that the other side of the aisle, the people who are not excited about this hire, they have a valid point. What has he done lately? That's a valid point, but Man, you talk about someone who could load up your roster full, full of, you know, first round. Yeah, he's got a blank oh, slate huge. to do that with right now. We got the full yeah. details from the Tysons on what they're contributing. So $8 million a year for uh, Cal Perry, but they're also contributing wow. like at least $6 million a year to NIL. Wow. Ka-ching. Wow. Buy your dino nuggies. <laughs> I think there's a point to be made that a change of uh, uh, just of where he's at, like a change of scenery could actually, I mean, that could go a long way. I really do. Yeah. I mean, I, I've heard that Kentucky fan base is kind of. Oh, like, they're brutal. More, yeah. They're more and more ready. Dude, they're brutal. So on three I'm, hasn't updated yet. I'm almost more excited for that NIL contribution. Oh my God. I mean, he's going to get dudes. Who? So does this mean there was truth? Between whether it be the the JB Hunt family, I don't know if the Tysons were involved, and them not liking Eric Musselman, because why didn't they do this for Eric Musselman? Yeah. I mean, and we've all heard the rumors, and I don't really like going in on too many of them because there's so much bullshit out there. You don't know what to believe, and it's not really fair to the parties involved. But there that has been. I've seen it in our Patreon chat. I've seen it in our main board chat. I've seen it in group chats, Twitter. I've, I've Apparently, they've talked about it on some Twitter spaces. Uh, again, watch where you go and what you believe out of those. I'm just saying they're entertaining, but they're not always spot on. Sometimes they are. Just be careful. Uh, but there's. does this mean there's something to that? That Yeah, there was some beef there, and here, here they are with Calipar, and they're like, yeah, we're just going to give him whatever he wants. They wouldn't well, do that I'm not, for Musselman? I'm not really sure, though, because Calipari is really close with the Tysons. Like, That's he's fair, been- too. There's a long history of them being really close to each other. And I really do think this was Tyson pushed all the way. But I'm not sure how much of it was Musselman, like them not liking him, as much as them really liking Calipari. Yeah, and I I have heard that. That is also true. That is – or at least that's something I've heard, that he's close with the Tyson family. Um, I mean – and another layer to it, I think, is, uh, you know, if you're an old school Razorback fan like some of us, you know, we don't really, you know, buy. I know the younger people tend to think like, oh, if we can just compete for an SEC championship, you know, we've made it. You know, those of us who've been around back in the day, you know, we think national championships, we don't buy into this idea that, oh, Arkansas can't compete for a national championship and we should just be happy to be, you know, mentioned and all that kind of stuff. They may have been looking at it like, okay, yeah, you made the elite eight, you know, 16, that's good. But did you make the final four? Did you win an sec title? Did you win an sec uh, tournament championship? Those are things that must never did. And so they may have been still kind of, you know, waiting to say, Hey, you got a little bit more to prove. If you get there, we'll come through. But until then, no, you know, yeah, I will say there is an interesting angle to this. If the if this hire like is one hundred percent real, which I'm pretty sure at this point, Bobby does Bone. this bring does this bring back Tremont Mark Battle and like Laden Laden Blocker or like some of those guys? Here's a question: yeah. Do you want them back after this I, past season? Yeah. Ken, Kentucky recruited Laden Blocker, um, and yeah. they Fair wanted enough. him. 
I think I do okay. think that if he does want to, he really does want to compete at Arkansas. That there, I, I think I think Layden Blocker. I think everyone else is probably a stretch, but I think Layden Blocker might come back. Duke wanted um, Pinion. Kalel yeah. Ware was a top um, recruit out of Arkansas that we didn't get. There are other guys too that we can bring back. You know, Arkansas homegrown Arkansas talent. Uh, our top guy last year is going to Missouri. And their number one recruiting class, which Calipari. That's right. There are a lot of Arkansas guys that we can build around and then bring in those other guys. So I would say, yeah, Darren Ford, all of them. Bring all of them back, you ask me. Yeah, it's it's looking like this is done. Uh, Bobby Bones just just tweeted. Keith Samuel just said it's a done deal. He's the lead uh, source for college uh, football for ESPN. Okay. Who, who is this again? Pete Thom Thomel. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bye. So, guys, I think it's safe to say we got a new coach, John Cal. Sorry, a move by your deck. <laughs> wow. Whether pushed or not, we listen. Link is available for anyone else who wants to add uh, add to this conversation. Yeah. Uh, hey, Ty. Oh I got to go tend to my toddler. I appreciate you having me on. I'm going to go ahead yeah. and celebrate. All right, boys. I appreciate you. Yeah. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being on. Go Hogs. Um, John Calpar, this looks legit. I I can honestly say that I don't know, man. I think I think we we everyone owes him a bit of an apology, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I mean, to be fair, I said I'd give him a B. I said, let's let this thing, let's let it unfold. Let's yeah. see how this unfolds. And here we are. My phone is blowing up. Oh, my God. I can't, I, like, my phone, yep. yeah. I, it was fully it. charged when we went live because I had yeah, it I'm 9%. Like, well, you're at what? 9%. Bro, you need a new phone. God. I'm telling you, I'm telling this battery has got, like, 80%, 86%, like, fully charged live or whatever when you look at your settings. Well, I'm, not, I'm not quite down that low, but it is definitely – uh it's, it's, yep, a, it's a 70% from fully charged for just uh, before we went live. People are I'm saying Sports so Illustrated well. made announcement. Uh, it says yard sales and dreams. Seeing a lot hey, of large. Oh, on three announced it. On three announced it. Wow. Then, yeah. Oh. We're, wow. That's it. That's now it. Now we're just waiting on a graphic from one of the media teams. At there Arkansas. it is. Wow. Oh, oh, oh man, this is Eddie Sutton payback, baby. I mean, this is something the fan base can can get behind, for the most part. The majority, I would think. I you're you're gonna have you know I don't know 10, 15 percent that don't yeah, like to hire because he has because they think he's gonna be overpaid. They think he's gonna play Arkansas like he did Kentucky the last you know four or five years. Um, I would say if there's anybody that gives you a shot at being relevant again, this is the guy that can help you do that. His uh, name alone, just his name, his his notability takes you from here and brings you up. I mean, a whole yeah. other pedestal. Yeah. You know, we were all, like, kind of making fun of H. Weiss and, like, uh, he's not going to hit the home run that a lot of people were saying he's trying to line up. He just hit a grand slam. Yeah, bases loaded, beer hats on. He did. I mean. He yeah. did. And I, and I said – Based on what we'd seen so far, how he had handled the whole video thing, the NIL stuff, I said, I don't have a lot of confidence in how he handles football. Yeah. I mean, I owe him an apology. This is, and yeah. I, I'm going to own up to it. I, I, I put my, my cart before the horse. I didn't give him the opportunity, even though I said so that we should. I also said in that same live that I didn't have as much confidence in how he handles football. Uh, this takes him off the hot seat immediately. Absolutely. Gone. 100%. And, um, Ice cold. Yeah. This, Space you, is beautiful. You totally cause... redeemed yourself, H.Y. <laughs> it's official, Ty. It is. This is incredible. And this is bigger than just us. I, Arkansas, we just made – we just changed a whole lot. We're even more nationally relevant now than we may have ever been under Muss, to be honest. I mean, you're going to be the – you're the highlight of the of the evening, and you're going to be the highlight for tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, this is all that's well in the championship game too. But this is going to be huge. Absolutely, wow! I'm just yeah, and I'm a student here, so this is. I mean, this is, 
I'm ready for I'm ready to see him up in that office just 50 to 100 feet away from me. It's crazy. Is he going to be wearing a, a red blazer or is he is he just going to wear like the like a black not a black suit but like <laughs> a, a darker suit with the red hog? What's he going to do? Oh my gosh. This I want him the Don Corleone fit, the white of uh, <laughs> white jacket. Uh, they made me an offer I can't refuse. <laughs> Arkansas Edge. Hold on, Ty. Uh, I've got, I've got to go follow Coach Cal. Yeah, right. Yeah, I need to go do that. <laughs> what is his Twitter? Is it just Coach Cal? I think What's it's Twitter. Think it's yeah, UK is that Coach it? Cal. What is his Twitter? I don't follow him. I don't follow a lot of. That ain't it. No, I don't know. Got to be careful scrolling down. I'll do that off stream because you got to yeah. be careful what you're looking at. Twitter's rough. <laughs> Twitter's very rough these days. Uh, did Hunter Yurchek uh, redeem himself, or did he just uh, did he just do what the money people told him to do? Either way, I'm happy with the hire, David. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, he's going to get the credit. Yeah, he. Yeah. ESPN app just reported it. Oh, mine didn't. I didn't get that one yet. I didn't get a notification. Oh, I just got it. Kentucky's John Calipari is finally fin- ah, a five-year yep. deal. Yep. Five years. Five-year deal. This wow. is nuts. Yeah, this is crazy. Is this the result? Let's ask this, too. Is this the result of Musselman having success? Do you get Calipari with a Mike Anderson or John Palfrey just leaving Stan Heath? And I think the answer is no. I think no. this is absolutely because no. of Musselman. Yeah. And, you know, and this, I mean, I, I do thank Moss for showing that at this point in college athletics and college basketball, there can be success at Arkansas. It just takes the right person with the right pieces. Yep. You know, and that, so absolutely. I'm tweeting out who you're going to get on Twitter. Who you going to get? Who you going to get? I love that so much. This is I've got to I got to get a graphic made for my little account I run. This is awesome, dang. Hey, y'all go retweet that. Who are you going to get? Go retweet it. Go help your boy. <laughs> this is wow. Crazy. Yeah, I, I. If you would have told me this yesterday, I would have laughed. Hell, if you would have told me this four hours ago, I would I would have laughed in your face. John Haas did say this in our in our Discord. John Haas and like someone said earlier, we got to give him all the credit. John Haas started this. Hmm. Yeah. Um, he was the first one to report it. He was the first one of anybody that I saw anywhere report this. Um, now don't ever tell him he doesn't know ball because you're never going to hear the freaking end of him talking about that. But John, John deserves a lot of credit. Um, he got, he was there first. Haas knows hashtag. I don't know that I've ever seen him get a coaching thing if, that he's been this far ahead on coaching, but he nailed it. Coming across on ESPN. This is huge, guys. It makes you it. wonder. We're in the big we're, – we're back in the big leagues. We this lost Musk. We thought it was all over. And here we go. Yeah, Fox 16 News. Everyone's reporting this. Um, Brandon Marcello tweeted about it. Yeah, uh, now John, John Calipari won't have to drive too far to eat at Herman's. Yeah, he's a big Herman's fan. You gotta think, was the the Jans and the and the the, the Walker just a smoke screen? Well, so they were supposed to yeah, they supposedly interviewed Walker today, or at least that's what was being reported, and it turned out to I, I guess I don't know that I ever got that confirmed or that we I wonder if it was over it's kind of like Zoom or something too, like just uh courtesy or yeah, I, it could have been over Zoom, and that's all it ever was. It was a courtesy, yeah. hey, you're a you're a razorback legend around here. You're a big name. We're going to, you know, I'm sure they didn't tell him that this is a courtesy, but, you know, yeah, that yeah. was probably their line of thinking. Yeah, for sure. This is, and someone just texted me and had a really good point. Dude's a Hall of Fame coach, and it's uh, mutually beneficial for both schools because, you know, the old heads or, or the young heads at, at Kentucky want him out. They don't, yeah, they, I, they, they want to move on. I was talking to some earlier, and they were like, we, this guy, he's, we're just the whole, I mean, the university at a whole is just done with him. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know how you sleep tonight just thinking about it. I'm not sleeping. Thank God I don't have to get up and take my girls to school tomorrow. They're out They're out of school because of the eclipse. Oh, yeah. I'm going down to Russellville for that, so I got to be up early to get on the road. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, 
I'm going to be free. Well, I, got, I think I'm going to do Mark Rogers tomorrow, uh, voice of college football. I got an interview yeah. with him. Nice. And then uh, that's, I think that's really my day. We don't have, we don't have practice tomorrow. We're going to go, we'll be back at it on Tuesday for practice. So um, yeah, this is just, wow. Um, I don't know who, see, he's going to, you're never, we're never going to hear the end of this. We're never going to hear the end of this. He says, lucky it, uh, big leagues is Jeff, Jeff for good. again, if anybody wants to hop in, wants to join us, wants to get in on the conversation, we're going to keep it going for a little bit longer. If you're just joining us, John Calipari is the head coach at the university of Arkansas. It is, it's confirmed by everyone, but him and the university. So this kind of clears up Tuesday, the whole Tuesday question, just a little bit, um, yep. Let's see. ESPN just broke. He is. Yeah, we talked about it. It's 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 done. I'm just saying the U of A hasn't confirmed. I mean, you know how this goes. You have, the U of A is getting a graphic together. Yeah, they'll get it posted. Bruce Pearl to Alabama. Nate Oates to Kentucky. It, Kentucky would be crazy to not go after Nate Oates. This dominoes. Um. Yeah, this is crazy, man. <laughs> And there's so much more to come with this too. His staff, he's gonna bring. Who are you oh gonna get gosh. for the staff? The players, he's gonna bring in. There's so much to watch. I'm so excited. Yeah, I am too. And and you know how he manages the portal. If he can get some of these former Razorbacks back, right? Yeah, like a laden blocker. I mean, cause that dude, he can play. He can play. Yeah. Not only that, there's some rumors from uh, Kentucky people that he's already talking to like his commits, telling him to come to Arkansas. <laughs> they have this one huge center. Uh, I don't know what class he's in. He's still in high school, but I mean, top ten nationally. And apparently, him and his parents discuss with Cal like wherever you go, we go. So he's a lot of these kids are, and their parents are just Cal likers. Like they just like Cal. Well, so his commits. Uh, I can't pronounce that kid's last name. It's the number two center in the country, six nine, two hundred thirty pound, Jaden. I think it's pronounced Quintaints. That might be it. That's a small I don't know. center. Uh, word of uh, Word of God Christian Academy out of uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Five star, uh, top ten player in the country. He's got uh, Boogie Fland, uh, point guard, six two six two point guard, one hundred seventy pounds. He's a four star. There's another name. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to butcher it. Samto Cyril, another center, another big, and this dude's six ten, two hundred forty pounds. And then another point guard, Travis Perry, who's a four star, six two one seventy. Um, and then they've also got Carter Knox and Billy Richmond, two other uh, uh, a guard and a forward, two other four stars. His last year's uh, class transfer class. If you're curious, pull this up here. He only I, so he only got one transfer last year. Yeah, Cal's not a big transfer guy. That's He's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of the knocks on him. Trey He's Mitchell. They got Trey Mitchell, 6'9", 235-pound forward out of West Virginia. But, yeah, I mean, what did he do with the high school rank? He had the number one class in the country. And that is one of the knocks on him is that, you know, he's doing it with freshmen. And yeah. that's one of the things that people got upset about with Musselman last year. You got too many freshmen in here. You know, we need to mix it up. Need more old heads. Need guys that have been around a little bit. I don't know what the secret sauce is for Cal. I don't know why this didn't work for him at Kentucky maybe he does need to hit the portal a little harder um but listen i mean he's he is a proven winner and he's, he's, got, gonna, he's got all the roster room in the world to work with yeah <clears throat> and, to give, and to give you an idea of uh Cal's recruiting ability since 2014 because that's as far back as i'm going on 247 he's only had one year where he's not in the top 2 of recruiting I knew it was high. I didn't know it was that good. Come That's on. crazy. <laughs> that is insane. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he had a streak from, like, 2014 to 2016 where he was, like, number one every single year. Yeah. Shane Alexander says Nate Oates to Kentucky. I'm telling you, I want to be that domino. <laughs> That's so awesome. That so is... <laughs> oh, oh, oh Jay fans, I'm so sorry. J Dog is just not he's just not digging it. He's just coming here to retire. This is J Dog. Okay, well, if he wins in the process, then he, we got what we wanted. 
I mean, you know, you got to let it just, I don't know that you're going to get a hire that's going to make you happier, Jay. I mean, you tell me and anybody else in chat, is there someone else you wanted more? I will say if you have $8 million and you got a five-year deal and you're going to promise NIL, whatever they want with NIL, whether it's from the Tysons, the J.B. Hunts, again, the Georges, I don't know if the Walton family has anything to do with uh, basketball anymore other than, you know, Bud Walton Arena. But um, do you tell me, okay, with that kind of number, with those numbers, with those digits, you should probably be able to get just about anybody. So tell me who you would take. That's big-time money. That's legit, legit big-time money in college basketball. So you tell me, Jay, who would you rather? Maybe I'll agree with you. I would argue that Nate Oates – would you take a Nate Oates over John Calipari right now? I would. I'll be honest with you. I would. I think that is an upgrade because of his recent success, how he's handled the portal. Didn't like what he did last year, and we're not going to get into that, but how he handled that situation. But, oh, my gosh. But Nate Oates, you know, he is a more recent proven winner, and he is a he's on a clear upward tick. He's a clear upward trend higher. But, you know, I don't know that he would want to come here. Calipari's situation is different. But again, you tell me who you would take. Who do you think would do better recruiting? Because I don't know that anybody does. Yeah, I I don't. And if it, maybe Will Wade would be uh, would be competitive here. Let's Not see. at all. If what I'm seeing on on three is correct for 2025, Cal is like at, it has Kentucky, but I'm just going off with Cal's recruiting. He's in like the top like three for four or five five star recruits. Yeah, and. You're you're gonna have success recruiting here. I mean, there's just, I mean, my God, you you've come back to the air. You had an era of recruiting under Musselman. If you don't think Calipari can come close to that or do better, and if he doesn't, then I don't know. That that will suck. You know, that will absolutely yeah. be something we'll have to discuss. But I think he would. I think he he's gonna be able to do that here. Uh, Prime, you know, it's a different sport, right? <laughs> I mean, he's a multi-sport athlete. Maybe he can come in for basketball. <laughs> Proud time, baby. Where's Paul at? Oh, Paul can, Paul can do that person. really well. Anyone but Cal. J Dog is not on the Cal bus. Okay. All right. Well, fair enough. I mean, that, yeah. This is crazy. Patrick, That's crazy. Patrick Smith says Will Wade. Khalif Battle just posted well damn, like with a bunch of dots afterwards on his Twitter. So it sounds like he might be interested in that. Wow. Shooter. Get him back. I, I wonder what Mutz huge. thinks, you know? Mutz is stinging this. He got a notification. He had to. Yeah. Like, holy – like, like they just did that. I just don't know. John Rothstein has reported as well. It is – I mean, you know, at this point, we're just piling on. But, yeah. Uh, as others reported, John Calipari and Arkansas engaged in deep negotiations. Once Chris Beard and Jerome Tang were off the board, a source confirmed Calipari has held the job. Uh, wait, Calipari has held the held the job in Arkansas in high regards for years, dating back to his time in Memphis. Wow. He's always been really respectful of Arkansas. I've always noticed that in his post games. I've seen his post games after other wins and losses against other teams. I mean, yes. he'll compliment their players. He seems like he he's always gone out of his way to compliment the U of A or the players or the coaches or the facilities or the fans. So there's probably some truth to this. Yeah. Maybe it's a bad fate in heaven, man. He's got a lot of family up here in Arkansas. That's what I've heard. I have heard that too. I've heard it's either close friends or family. These that either they live somewhere along the Beaver Lake or something. I don't know. I never really looked into it, but uh, boss Hawk says this is the home run hire. Grand you get a big name coach Grand slash recruiter. Yurchek saved his ass, and Chris Beard <laughs> could finally go to the school he really wanted to. Yeah, Chris Beard to Kentucky. I, I would, I would like that less. Actually, I want, I want Nate Oates to go. <laughs> um, Chris Beard uh, John just gets least, denied again. John will at least uh, get a decent big man. He's got two committed to him right now at Kentucky. Uh oh. Uh-oh, this is the call right here. Unbiased Brim, what's going on, brother? You can't do me like that. I bring you in <laughs> with that kind of... Can you hear me? He's probably at work. I'm in the door. 
What are you doing, bro? <laughs> I'm double dipping. I'm showing love all across the planet right now. Oh, all right. Okay. While he's joining in, I think I'm going to hop out of here because my phone is blowing up. All right, man. I appreciate you, Aiden. So Thanks awesome. a lot, man. Yeah, man. This is awesome. Go Hogs, guys. We Go gotta, Hogs. Man, oh, take a nice shower tonight. <laughs> Woo, pig, suey. <laughs> Appreciate it, Aiden. What do you got for me, unbiased brim, sir? How do you feel? I said a minute ago, tell me you're an old head. You've been around like I have. This has that same level of excitement like when they hired Bobby Petrino the first time. When they hired him, I was in Fayetteville. I was in. I was, uh, I was at, at Hog's Breath Cafe in line picking up me and the girlfriend. Or, well, no, we were married. Hold on. She better not be watching. I think I was married when she, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 When we hired Petrina, I was married. Um, and I remember how electric you could just, everyone was cheering, going nuts. This has that feel. I don't know how you feel about it, but I, I'm not saying it's going to amount to tons and tons of success, but Brim, I don't know, man, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Listen here, when it comes to the hype and prestige and moving forward as a program, it puts Arkansas on a level to be on a blue blood level with success. Simple as that. That's, that's what this move actually demonstrates. It sets a barometer to where you will be on a level that is past, you know, the mid guys. This is solidifying yourself as a potential top 10 program, you know, continuing going forward it sets that precedence that's what it actually means you know shout out to tyson everybody get your tyson chicken you know what i mean so um <laughs> um i'm i'm cool with it when i first saw it i said hey listen if i woke up in the morning and calipari was a coach i wouldn't be that you know so it's going to be very interesting we're going to have a lot of talented players it's going to be interesting to see if uh calipari is going to want any other grazer backs that were on the previous team it's going to be a very fun dynamic, and uh, it's going to be a lot of excitement. A lot of the sellouts are going. To, the sellouts are going to be insane and raucous, and you know, look for Coach Beard to go to Kentucky, and look for Will Wade to go to Ole Miss. It's the dominoes are down, falling, falling down, and you know that's how it's going. Oh, this is going to be a. This is going to send out ripples. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Um, I, 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 if I'm Kentucky, yeah, it's either Beard or Nate Oates. I hope it's no Oates. Nato's ain't going. I think Nato's is kind of going to be cool with Alabama because I think he just solidified himself in the lad Alabama. I don't know if he would leave considering what I think he got there. Got to think they're going to give him Scott the world. You got to make a run for Scott Drew if you're Kentucky. A lead coach at Baylor, you probably can out prestige Baylor. You got to try to get him. They are probably going to get Beard though. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why I think it's. I think it's SEC dominoes. It's that's there's just not another name like that is as prestigious as it gets is is a beard. I mean, you know, I mean, let's be real. I mean, Calipari at Kentucky is a it's still a prestigious name may not be the greatest product on the floor of the last few years by Kentucky terms anyways, for sure. But um, beard is like I mean, there's a reason why hog fans were just going crazy over beard the fact that he could be coming here it's got to be beard but it's beard nato i do like scott true i do i uh, like him a lot but uh i don't know something tells me he's going to be there for a little while longer maybe I, I would say five years ago maybe a bill self but he seems pretty locked in at ku he's he's gonna have a he's having a, a dean smith run there yeah, and he's had some health concerns too. If I remember yeah. right, yeah, he had that. Yeah, yeah, that's why I remember he was at the game against us, and we won the Sweet was. Sixteen. That's right. He yeah. wasn't out. He wasn't uh, there when we played him, and that was the yeah. KU's fans' excuses. Well, he wasn't there. It's like, well, yeah, but he wasn't there for the last game either, and y'all won. Brian Frazier's on the line. Brian, oh lord, look at it. Woo, Hercules, <laughs> what's up, baby? What's Damn. going on, man? Everybody hype. Everybody hype. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Hi. Yeah, <laughs> buddy. What's up? What's hey, man. On, man. John Hoss, I want to say on live, you suck. You put it in there, who you going to get or the next coach. Mm -hmm. and you didn't tell me you had special intel. Because <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Coach Cal, that. I'm like, Coach Cal, what is he doing? What's going on here? Yeah. This is far fetched. Here it is. Six hours later, and we got Coach Cal, baby. 
Yeah. We got Coach was, Cal. He gangbanged me with some little red. But I wanted to get on here because I've seen this dude, J Dog. Uh oh. And I'm trying to figure out why, bro. What's wrong with you, man? Why are we doing this? Why? Why are we doing this? I mean, but and, you've, heard, you've heard the other side of the argument, though, right? It is. It is at the last few years they have underperformed. I mean, they got knocked out by a 11 seed or 12. So, so, someone bad knocked them out round one this year, and this has happened before. I mean, Still I understand that. I, this this so is what I get. I understand that they got knocked out. And this is not Coach Cal's best years over there in Kentucky. But Musk left us high and dry. Speaking of which, I ain't mad at Musk no more. Thank you for leaving, sir. Um, but this is a fresh start for the man. You know, Coach Cal, maybe maybe it was time for him to, you know, now he can spread his wings again. Stephen A and them got on uh, first take. It was busting his chops. Him and his other friend like, yo, stop being too friendly. We're the old coach we know. We're that old dog at, that still loves the players, but also – We'll put a foot in your behind, too, at the same time. Stop being all lubby-dubby, and let's get back to the coaching coaching, right? So, I'm excited. Hold on. Hold on. Jay doesn't like Cal as a person. I don't care. What What, did we, I don't, what was the nickname? I don't care. He, he, didn't shoot my, he didn't shoot my puppy. <laughs> He's a coach of my basketball team that's gonna give me 25 <laughs> victories and a chance to win. You worried about the wrong stuff, buddy. <laughs> You're worried about the wrong Bro, thing, Bro, there, buddy. Bro, he didn't shoot my puppy. We <laughs> went talking about you don't like Cal as a person. <laughs> we went from Chris Beard to Cal. <laughs> hmm. I don't. I don't get that one. I don't know. Don't like Cal as a person. I think yeah, J Dog just. Someone this is this is one thing I don't like, and this is all over social media. Is people talk and you don't even have a face, you just got some kind of weird picture. Uh, probably some dude <laughs> that's three foot eleven, a gnome at his parents' house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like he's just so angry and he's sitting out all these stupid messages. Come on, man. Well, Todd, Todd, I'm double dipping. I had to come by and show you some love, Todd, but I'm double dipping. So I want you to say this one time for me. Say, Woo Pig Suey. Woo Pig Suey. Yo, how about your excitement levels on one to ten? For me? Or yeah. I mean, I'm never at a ten because I've learned my lesson, but I I'm at like a strong nine, bro. You like had a nine point five. Quit playing with me. You had a nine point five. Quit because we didn't know what was going on. Coach Cal, right. baby. Right. I'll do this. I'll do this for you before you split. We're doing it. We're you put doing the it. We're doing it. Hunter, you're a check. For Tyson sure. chicken. For Tyson. Hunter, for Tyson. Go no, that's Tyson. No, the Tyson get that. I'm giving it to Tyson, not Hunter. Well, Tyson I mean, no, all right. If we're connecting dots, <laughs> how about both of them? Hunter, you're checking Tyson, but all right, just team his effort. Goal. His his uh his seat is no longer hot. I mean, he's gonna get credit for it. But yeah, I'll give you that. Tyson. Charles Harper says he's at a 10. I need Cal Perry to recreate the bus video now. Woo pig. So. <laughs> Appreciate you, Brim. Thanks that would be fun. Man. I need you. I need you to open back up the coaching search, so I can put Coach Cal in. Too late. And you can close it back out. It's too late, man. It's too late. I saw you tagging me in Discord. It's too late. It's bro. Listen, listen. Why would you have to put me on Front Street on live TV, man? You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to say that I tried to DM you and all that. You bro. didn't DM me. That's the thing, Brian. You didn't even DM me. You put it out there in the open. You said. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about, bro? Oh, uh, you got me. You got me. Anyway, I'm out of here, bro. I just want to get on here to uh, express my excitement. J Dog, listen, bro. Take a nap or something, man. I don't know what's got into him. 
just listen. Go. They have surgeries that you can extend your legs now. You don't have to be mad anymore, bro. Okay. So just stop the foolishness. This is time to be happy, bro. Oh be happy. <laughs> Woo pig suey. I'm out. Oh, Brian, I swear, dude. I, I ain't going to be able to top that. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, all right, hold on, though. He, he cheats. He says he cheats everywhere he goes. Will Wade, who you were talking about, Jay, he had he got in so much trouble. He was You could hear his voice on a documentary talking about cheating in college athletics. Like, what are you talking about? You lose all yeah. credibility when you say that, oh, he cheats everywhere he goes. And I don't like his personality. I don't like who he is. Will Wade literally got busted, bro. What are you talking about? Just say you don't we like had, him. We had a serial cheater, uh, alleged like girlfriend beater, and uh, I guess Jerome Tang as our top three. And we're worried about Calipari's personality and NIL stuff. That's, that's what I'm saying. What are, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> so when Cal got tossed at Bud Walton Arena, an ESPN camera panned over the student section and caught me waving goodbye to him. I now would like to formally retract that and celebrate like Ty with that chain. <laughs> uh, Trip is another. Uh, he's he's in our Discord. He's uh, he's in our Discord. He's in Tusk Talk. He's in there. He's a, I think you're still Patreon, right, Trip? I hope you are. We we did add another Patreon supporter. So, yeah, we're going to be following the transfer portal. I'm still uploading post-scrimmage uh, and practice reports on Patreon. If you're a Patreon supporter, you get you get that. You I give you a raw, straight-up just reaction. It's got to be two minutes. Unfortunately, I can't go over two minutes but on those. But, uh, yeah, and and I'm, we're going to get prepared. we got the red-white scrimmage next next Saturday. I think it's at noon. So hopefully I'll see you guys there. I, I ran it. I keep running into people at the scrimmage. And I always feel bad when they're like, yeah, I'm so-and-so. I'm like, wait, wait, are you in discord? Are you in, who are you? So I do apologize. Please don't take it personal. If I forget, there's so many people, but um, hopefully I'll see you guys there next weekend. Really excited for that. And then I wonder, do they, does, uh, is Calipari going to throw out the first pitch on Tuesday? He's going to be on town Tuesday. Call. I mean, they may why do that? You know, if he's flying in on Tuesday, right? And I think that game's at like, shoot, I don't even know. I want to say six. I feel like one of those games is early and one of them's late. But anyways, or do you save him for, um, well, no, they would have to, no, it would have to be this week because next weekend they're out of town. Baseball team's out of town. So I wonder if we get to see him throw out the first pitch. j Dog says he's six foot one, six one, two sixteen. Ah, uh, and since hoping- 1987. I was hoping we were playing Kentucky at home so he could have thrown out the first pitch then. But Wouldn't that have been – oh, my gosh. Could you imagine? Lone Sportsman Outfitters, what's going on? Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. We've been uh, – subscribers are coming around, man. Numbers are going back up. That's awesome. I love seeing that. You guys yeah. are incredible. On the scrimmage, you're, you might see me out there. I'm going to try to make a put, uh, put Criswell in sign. <laughs> that would be funny me. but uh yeah you might get thrown out i don't know the last time i made a sign it was byu and that didn't go well well i mean luckily arkansas shouldn't lose on saturday right there's the only way you can lose is have injuries but i'm not gonna put that out there i'm not gonna put that evil out there <laughs> yeah please don't lone sports what's up man what's going on ty what it do what it do I'm on cloud nine uh-huh. right now, man. Oh, man. So do you think that this is 100% legit? Yeah. No, it's done. done. It's done. What? Contracts out there it's and everything. done, bro. What? It's, the deal is finalized? Well, like, yep. the deal's not, but on three has reported. I mean, look at this. They're even – they're so – they're all over this. Andy Staples on 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 uh, and three, on three, on, on three. Good God doing a live stream talking about it with 10,000 people. Wow. And then they posted uh, breaking Arkansas and John Calipari finalizing a five-year deal. At this point, now, <laughs> you could still get Altman, all right? That could still happen. 
I don't think this happens. And like someone like we've talked about, he is reportedly he's very close with the Tyson family. I think he's always thought pretty highly of the University of Arkansas. So yeah, this looks to be knock on wood a done deal. Well, I could tell you this from what I've been thinking for the last couple of days. You know, everybody wanted Chris Beard. You know, but to me, I would much rather have Calipari than Beard. You would? Myself. Yes. Yes. Because he's a big name. He's won a natty. He's been there six times. That's fair. And, you know, he knows SEC. And if you leave in Kentucky to come to Arkansas, it's, it has to be something. Who would have thought? You know, leave Kentucky, oh, blue blood as everybody call them, to come coach our backs, it's, it's got to be something. So I welcome it. You know, yeah, like you said, six Final Fours, just a ton of tournament appearances. I mean, one I, natty out of all of those, but he still won a natty. So he's got a know. natty under his belt. That's right. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm happy, man. I'm happy for real, and uh, I'm excited. And yeah, woo pig, one hundred percent. I wish we had this kind of excitement. I'm not to, not to tick everybody off here, but I wish we had this level of excitement for football. I mean, I, it's uh, maybe, maybe it will, maybe Petrino and that offense will show us something. And that's the thing. Once the, once the gunslingers get to slanging it and, and we getting, we putting up big numbers and stuff and then we getting a couple of good wins up on our belt, it, it, it'll go and get back. Right. Because Petrino is bringing the excitement back anyway from, because I don't know what I would have did if, if it would have just been Pittman right now, you know, with a with a no name offensive coordinator, yeah, yeah, with but another, uh, with another um, uh, old friend of his, you know, right? I mean, right. Jim Chaney, true, I mean, even though he had the wreck or whatever, he was our guy still. We love. I, I still loved him, you know, and I hated they fired him really, but you know. That's a com- conversation for another day. Yeah. Yeah. Kamani Johnson yeah. tweeting out uh, emojis. He's got the laughing face, Razorback with the heart. Uh, yeah, this is this is going to make its rounds. Yeah. I'm curious how many of the former Kentucky greats, I wonder what they have to say about this. You know, we, we yeah. remember some of those names earlier. I'd love to hear what they have to say now. Yeah, for real, for real. I'm excited. I mean, wow, Calipari to the hill. And, I mean, Arkansas isn't a bad coaching job. I mean, we have all the resources. We just need the right person. Yeah. You know, I don't think they're slacking on NIL because the money is there, but you got to be worth it to get that money. That's fair. You know, you really got to be working it. I mean, Jerry Jones and the Tyson people, and all the money is there. I know I've the money is there. I've asked for transparency, and I get why they why we don't get it. But I never, I had such a hard time buying that narrative that they're just struggling that bad with an IL. The classes, the proof is in the pudding. What right. they've done with basketball and who they were able to grab out of the portal there with football, you know, I mean, let's not sit here and act like grabbing these former five stars like that was just a whatever deal. I mean, you're talking about they've got they've had what at least three former five stars in just the last two classes. Yeah, Drew Sanders, exactly. the uh, the corner out of Georgia and the linebacker. Uh, all their names are slipping my mind right now, but um, they've they have done it i think they've done a really good job and and once again i think they're going to end up doing a good job this year and now you got calipari who apparently they promised you know i guess they promised him whatever he wanted i have one more question ty go ahead i have i have a question someone just asked me maybe 30 minutes ago and they said do you think some transfer players are going to come from arkansas from kentucky and come to arkansas I think they. I, someone earlier had said that, that that they felt like that was something that that would probably end up happening. That you're gonna you're gonna be able to grab some players. 
I don't know who that would be. I wouldn't even begin to know. Like, this all just hit me. But it know. doesn't matter because they're loaded. Right. It don't matter who come with them. As long as somebody come with them because they got the guys. They got well, they all them guys. You know, they've got the number. They've got two big-time uh, bigs committed. Uh, Samto Cyril, 6'10", 240-pounder, who's a top-10 player at his position uh, out, of, uh, out of Georgia. He's a top-five player in the state of Georgia. Uh, Jaden, I can't pronounce his last name. I think it's Jaden Quint Quintaints, 6'9", 230-pound center uh, out of Raleigh, North Carolina. He's a five-star, number one player uh, in the state, number two player in his position, top 10 player in the country. Uh, Travis Perry and, and Boogie Flan. I mean, they, they're they loaded. This is right now the number two class in the country. So, obviously, these guys are probably going to wait and see what happens with Calipari and, or uh, with Kentucky and who takes over that job. I think they probably target Beard or Nate Oates. Uh, I could see Scott Drew in that conversation. I could only imagine what Scott Drew could do at, at a place like Kentucky. Um, and Carter Knox is the other other big they have. Or, uh, excuse me, he's a forward, 6'6", 230-pound forward they have committed. I right. I don't know what they do. Back as usual. I don't know what they do because Calipari does not have a great reputation out of the portal. That's not something, you know, that's been one of the knocks on him that he has to rely on newbies every year, freshmen, because he's a one and done coach. That's been yeah. his reputation for years. So, you know, I, I don't I don't know, man. Maybe he'll change his philosophy up a little bit. I definitely think he's gonna do something to get his sauce back. I know that I think he wants a, a breath of fresh air. I think so too. I think Kentucky put a lot of pressure on him. Yeah, it's it's been a lot of pressure on him for years, and I agree with uh, King Command that just put that that comment up there. Shout out to Hunter Yura Check. Yeah, real good. Hunter uh, in the line of fire. That boy going to get it, man. Like Brim told me earlier, I gave I gave Hunter Yura Check the gold chain. He said I ought to give it to to the Tysons. You know, yeah. it's I don't know that that's actually confirmed that it was the Tysons or not, but fine. I'll get, this is for both Hunter Yurchak and, and the Tyson family. For real. <laughs> I mean, damn, who would have thought they would do this again? If you would have told me this at lunch today, I, I would have been like, no way, man. No way. Kate says Scott drew staying at Baylor. Yeah. Kate, we came to that conclusion a while ago. I, I don't think he's going to leave, ba leave Baylor. Um, he's, probably sitting pretty down there. Kentucky, that's going to be some big shoes to fill. Yurichek really flexing his muscles on the cool. I say what? I say Yurichek really flexing his muscles on the cool. He, he trying to show everybody that he is that guy for his ADs. Because he boy. ain't playing. He, he put, ain't playing. He put everyone in their place, man. I mean, he did. All the Hunter Yurichek and I, I throw my name in there too because I was doubting him the other on the last live stream. I said I'm not too confident if he can't handle this situation, if he can't go out and get someone that you feel confident in in the in basketball. I don't know what my confidence. I have no confidence in what he can do with football because we know there's a strong possibility Sam Pittman doesn't finish off the 24 season. But that's a so, hundred. That's a hundred percent true statement, though. You, that that came from the heart, but that was true. You know, he couldn't just go out and get a no name. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody that's mm -hmm. not going to at least be up to where Musk left the program at. You know, we didn't win this year, but the last few years we we've been in the hunt. Yeah. So he couldn't just go get nobody that you know Lee Stone out of Delaware. You know, and thinking he was about to. You know, come and bring the hogs back to greatness. You know, Calipari, uh-oh, ears get the opening up. Yeah. Well, Excitement it's, get the coming back. Season tickets probably finna be sold out really oh early. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. I hadn't even thought of that. <laughs> like, I bet them season ticket holders are through the what? roof right now, bro. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Uh, so, what was I going to say? The number was gone. These last couple of weeks on the hill, mm -hmm. it was some sadness because I've been sad. I just been like, you know, I'm yeah. done with I'm done with Arkansas. <laughs> I know, bro. Well, you're not the only one. Everyone was just discouraged. And this is it, man. This was that big baller move that fans needed. 
that fans yeah. wanted, you know, what they want. How do you go from an Eric Musselman who takes you to three straight Sweet 16s, back-to-back Elite Eights, to talking about Chris Jant? And, and I'll even say exactly. it. Exactly. Exactly. No. No. It, it, was, it just wasn't going to work. No. We need – Arkansas needs a name because, believe it or not, we're a bigger name in sports than people think. Yeah. When they say there's only one Razorback, that's true. Only one Razorback. Only but one. Yeah, Ty. Hard worker says all smoke. I don't know what you mean by that. What does that mean? What do you mean all smoke? Are you talking about those names, Chris Jans and uh, I'll be curious to see what they do, how he handles the that's like my thing. How does he handle the portal? Does he change right. his philosophy a little bit? Um, maybe not, man. Maybe he just sticks with – with. I mean, he's he is the name on the recruiting trail. So, I, I don't know. Bro, what, just you there? what is that? Ooh, what are you eating? Oh, man, a steak and potato, man. Oh, my God. Hey, look, can yeah. I see that steak? Can I see it? Can I see the steak? Uh, let me see that steak. I haven't, I haven't uh, put my A1 sauce on it. Oh, here. baby. Let me get my A1 first time. Oh, all right. All right. I want to see that steak now. <laughs> I want to see I want to see how red that meat is, baby, when you cut that open. That's what I want to see. If it's... No, nah, it's well done. You don't even want to see it. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you did well. <laughs> all right. You don't have to show it off. You don't have to show it off. All right. All right. I don't want to put it's you well on. Well done, Ty. You struck me as a as like me, like a, a rare. <laughs> hey, but you know what though? When I go to restaurants, I like them like them a little bit with the pink in the middle. Medium rare. That's how I am. Yeah. When we went to the uh, uh, Texas Roadhouse, the new one down here in uh, uh, Rogers or whatever. Yeah. Woo, boy! I got a I got a medium rare, and it was on point, dude. It was good. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say it. That was really good steak. Yeah, Texas Roadhouse medium rare are typically pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's, all the time. It's legit. So. <sighs> Man, I just man, yeah, yeah. I'm 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 extra excited. I am too. What the so, heck? We got Scott's just joining. He's like, whoa, what? So we just shook back. I feel like you know, I was pretty down these last couple weeks. You know, you know, you haven't seen me in a minute of them. It has been a minute. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen you in chat. Uh, so hard worker yeah. says he was. He was saying it's all smoke, all the interviews today. Okay, so he's saying none of the so so the interviews were just smoke. Uh, I think they were out of out of uh respect. Cause I think you you I don't have a problem with him giving Daryl Walker, man. I mean it'd be great if they could add him to the staff. I'll be real. I don't think he'll do it, you know, with his background and everything, but uh putting A one putting A one stake is a is a crime, says Michael Kerper. I don't think so, dude. A one's good. Yeah, 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 man. Got ahead of A one, Mike. I like it. I like A one. Uh, if Pitt is gone, we go after <laughs> go after Nick Saban. Wow. <laughs> Why not? We got to set our NIL, NIL programs down there. Mm -hmm. You know the one in our head. Uh, medium rare at home. Order rare at restaurants. Says Michael Kerper. Yeah, I mean, I I typically just to be on the safe side, just get medium rare. And if I cook them, it's going to be medium rare. Yeah. Um, NIL commitment is huge as well. Yeah. So we're, we're going to see an uptick in the NIL. I think it's going to be crazy. That's, that's where all this has got to be. If, if you're excited about Calipari, you should be, at least in terms of what he could do. And now, at least on the recruiting trail, now it sounds like NIL is going to be through the roof. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Like, I'm I'm curious what they do there. I mean, obviously, if they're going to hit the NIL and give them that kind of money, maybe they've laid down some restrictions. Like, look, we'll give you the money, but you got to hit the portal. Like, you can't just be all high school kids. <laughs> Brian, come on, man. I, shit, I need steak right now. I don't care what time it is. If I haven't eaten dinner. It is pretty, it is pretty late to be eating steak, though. I ain't going to even lie, but... I'm hungry, so. I, I, <laughs> hey, I ate pasta for dinner. My wife made some really good pasta. I, I had a big old serving of it. I guarantee you when we're done here, 
I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna get me another big old helping of it, bro. I'm I'm gonna do it. Right. I, I know Love I am, fun. dude. My wife could cook now. Man. Um, when your next live show, Ty? I'll probably be live on um I won't be live tomorrow. Maybe you gonna solar eclipse tomorrow. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, I, I'm I think we got the, the glasses, you know. I think my wife got some extra ones. But uh, I'll probably go live if we have something like uh, some more Calipari news. I'm sure I'll go live for that. Okay, definitely. I need that because I just I need to make sure the deal is is done. Then I can go ahead and start talking a little bit of shit again. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, you know, we got to go at some of these haters, man. We had we got some people that weren't real big on the hire. I don't know what they're. I don't know what else to do. Everyone, everyone need to tell Hunter they're they're sorry. Hunter Calipari, uh, Calipari has been out in Arizona for a while, not just today. Hmm. I didn't know that. Maybe that explains why he's not, why he won't be here till Tuesday. Has he even made a statement on um on Musk leaving? Oh, Hunter, yeah, 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 yeah. Hunter has. Mm -hmm. Cause I mean, it seemed like he's been so cool and collect. I hadn't heard a word. I just saw one picture of him on my news feed like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he had that look like, okay, then you know. Yeah. I guess um, some of them sleep. It's been reported. Uh, I don't remember. We were just looking at it. Someone reported that uh, after they failed on beard that they that then they reached out i guess they reached out to john calipari after they whiffed on beard so i don't i don't know i mean maybe we'll get the we, we won't ever get the full story you know how this is but yeah i am i am curious i guess hunter probably reached out first um uh, you know it's it's Maybe it'll make for a really good story. I'm 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 excited to hear kind of how that went down if they give us anything, which they probably won't, but um instant top ten class incoming. I'm telling you, it's top ten. Hell, it might be Did you did you want Chris Beard? Oh yeah. Yeah, I wanted Beard. Absolutely. Did you not? I mean, I just don't know his pedigree or his resume really. So I I'm I'm I don't know. Um, well, I mean, has he won a natty? Well, no. Has he been deep, deep in, in the final four runs? And he has with who? Uh, well, so I've got it. I've got it laid out here. If, if, um, uh, if you're in, I don't know okay. if you're, you're in our discord or not, but I've got it laid out. The Texas tech, he was, he was a runner up his, for his second year at Texas tech. He made the elite eight. Oh, okay. You know, 2017, 2018. And then the following year, they were the runner ups. Of course, we know in 2019, 2020, that it got canceled. Really, since then, since about 2018, 2019, he's either missed the tournament. Well, and he only missed once because, because of that last year. Or twice. I'm sorry. He's missed twice because Texas, he didn't get to finish. And then last year at Ole Miss, but they finished 20 and 12. Um, but the problem was he finished 7 and 11 in conference. He just didn't have the, the ranking to get into the tournament. But he, he has gone deep. He's gone very deep. And he's been a runner-up. He's been doing Elite Eight. And a lot of people think he is like the next like the next great. When you think about the Blue Blood coaches, he's that yeah. guy who's going to fill that role, whether it be Kentucky or you know maybe some years down yeah. the road, UCLA, when Cronin's out. Well, let me see. So that brings me to where did uh... – where is he from? Uh, well, is he an Arkansas native? Well, no, he's a Georgia native. But I think he, if if, if you're talking about Beard, he was born in Beard. Georgia. He's 51. He was born in Georgia, and I I I know he coached. He coached one year in Little Rock, 2015, 2016. Okay, 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 a, okay, okay. He was a grad assistant at Texas uh, in the early 90s. And he's kind of been everywhere. He's been an assistant at multiple schools, but I think he like grew up in Texas. I really don't know. I you know, but yeah, he has 
a very solid record. And a lot of people think that team last year was a Final Four, maybe even national championship contending team. He was seven and one. And of course, what happened happened with his fiance and him getting fired and all that. Who knows how it would have turned out. But I know year one at Ole Miss, Beard went 20 and 12 with a 7 11 conference record. They also beat us, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they trashed Arkansas. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, you just shed a little bit of light on it, Dan. I, I could see that could, could have been a good hire, you know? Yeah. I, I liked Beard. Beard. Beard does feel like that next, like he's going to take over somewhere and he's going to be at Ole Miss. He's not there. I'd be shocked if he's there beyond two, three years. I'd be shocked. Ole yeah. Miss is just not a, a good basketball school. I like Calipari just a uh, hundred yards better. Yeah. 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 Well, like I said, this feels like that same energy when Arkansas hired Bobby Petrino. Yeah. It, it has that same feeling, so it's it's pretty cool that we're back feeling. What you think? Uh, what's the new quarterback's name? Ty, uh, Taylor Green. Taylor Green. You think he's gonna light it up this year? Well, he has struggled mightily in 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 scrimmage. I will say that his numbers have not been great. But yeah, this is what Petrino said about Lamar Jackson. Of course, he coached Lamar, and we know what happened with Lamar. You don't really know what you have with a quarterback like Taylor Green or Lamar Jackson until they're full speed, full pad. They're able to improvise, and they know their their life is in danger because they're about to get hit. So you're a different player when you right. know the impact's about to come. You react differently. Okay. Um, so exactly. uh, I think – I, I don't know that it's fair to look at his spring numbers and go, well, that's that's who Taylor Green is. I don't I don't know what we get in the fall. I have no idea. We won't know until we know. We won't know until we see it. I will say I have seen him improvise a little bit. I have seen him take off and run. I have seen him throw some pretty nice balls over the middle. I have seen him throw Centennial on the fade route. Um, he's got an arm and he he can do like everything. It's just when the lights come on. That's going to be a different story. How does it all unfold on the on the field? And also, too, the offensive line, the receivers, all the guys around him, are they all on the same page come fall? You know, that's that's going to be – Yeah. we won't know until we see it. And it's not fair to say one way or another about Green. Oh, he's going to be great. Well, we don't know. Well, he's going to be bad. We don't know. So I none of that. the quarterbacks are being tackled? None no. of them are? No, no. They're wearing black jerseys. That's pretty much been the rule, team rules around football now for probably 30 years. Like, you just don't tackle a quarterback. Um, now, running backs, that's a different story. When they're full pads, they're popping, dude. I was, right, I, was right, I was right there on Saturday on the sidelines. I could hear Braylon Russell get popped. And I'm telling you, man, their defense is – I don't want to give away too much. I plan on doing some stuff this week on spring. But I will say the secondary has brought the hammer. I mean, they're hitting hard. They're physical. They're breaking up passes. They're jumping routes. I've been really impressed with Braxton. That should be a surprise to nobody. There are some things to talk about with that defense. I, and they definitely won the day on Saturday, if you want my opinion. But uh, anyways, I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to get off here. I'm going to go eat some leftover pasta. Um I appreciate everyone who called in tonight, all you guys in the live chat. Again, a shout-out to Direct Service Overhead, the Garage Door Company, the show's sponsor. Of course, to you, Lone Sportsman. Thanks for calling in, man. Man, I appreciate you for having me, big dog. For sure, for sure. Hey, yeah, Brian, it, the steak I already got cold. I got to put it back <laughs> in the microwave one more time. Just go nuke it, baby. Just go nuke yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, yeah, man. man. All right, I'll holler at y'all. All right, man. Take it easy. New pig. Absolutely. What a, uh, wow. I don't know what else to say, really. I mean, this was, this was not something that I saw coming at all. I, I did not see this coming. If you would have, again, when, when I, I saw Haas post that in discord and Patreon, by the way, before anybody. And I, I just kind of like, whatever, you know? All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you know what I mean? Cal, come on. And here we are. 
Arkansas just went and grabbed Calipari out of Kentucky. Some of that is probably mutual. I'm sure the Kentucky people are not crying. They're not boo-hooing too hard tonight because they feel like they're going to be able to turn around and go get go get a, a who knows, Nate Oates, Chris Beard. Uh, we got one more caller. All right, since you called in. D-Mac, what's going on, man? Hello? I think I'm in your pocket. What's going on, bro? Hey, uh, uh, you hear me now? I can hear you, yeah. Go pig, go pig, go pig. Woo, go pig, go pig. Uh, John Calipari. Uh, yeah, go pig. We happy now. What we, what, so, 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 uh, 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 what is there to expect? Well, I mean, recruiting, right? I mean, he's arguably one of the best recruiters, period. Um, you know, I, I don't know that you're going to be – I don't know how he's going to handle the portal. He's known for just racking up McDonald's All-Americans, first-round lottery picks. I, I'm not saying he's going to do that here. I don't know. Musselman sure as hell did it. Uh, how do you feel about Eric leaving? Oh, well, I mean – now I don't really care. <laughs> if I'm being real, I don't really care. I mean, yes. I, I, That's a true first, sentiment. it felt like it felt like he was running because he had a bad year. Yeah, I do. I do believe D Mac that he he left because he wanted to go home. He's got family. I absolutely believe that played a really big role. USC's nil. Who who knows what they're going to be able to do with their nil. We know the influence that university has in that region yeah. in that part of the world. Where did he, where did he end up going? I, I can't think of it right now. USC. USC. Right. Southern California. But I do cool. think it got hard and he left. He got hard. Well, I was speaking about uh, if you don't, I'm, I'm I'm on track now. I think. Okay. I was speaking about speaking positivity into the children that that's playing on the on your team. Somebody just – I got a uh, UAPB. I've said this many times before. I've been on your show. The other times I've been on your show. Mm-hmm. It's it, uh, uh, a major part on the performance of your of your student plays a part on the leadership of your student or your team. Um, I don't know what Eric I – I don't know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm just a – To just a just a just a young uh, college student that don't even know nothing. But I, I, but what I do know is elders have an influence on the young. So all I'm gonna say is prayerfully, you know, a John Calipari brings a winning spirit and a you know winning like uh, what is it called? Not environment, but culture to Arkansas. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, like, like it really only can go up. It seemed like, but like, yeah, life is life here right now. <laughs> like, it was it's just an exciting thing, I guess. Just, you hear the name John Calipari, you hear Kentucky success, but like, but no, 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 no. I hope he brings a winning a winning culture. Um, I hope he really influences the the the, the, the people that are you know are under him. You know, like. I'm going through stuff, you know, myself, you know, trying to, you know, stay uplifted. And, you know, through the elders in my life, they've, they've kind of, you know, made a difference in my life in terms of, like, you know, making, allowing me to do things that I didn't know I could do. You know, whether that be, right. you know, playing on the big stage or simply calling in on the show to, you know, speak life into things that I care about. So, with that being said, we'll pig. we we'll Okay, so you like the hire? I love the hire. I Good. didn't expect it. We went from Mike Anderson, Mike and like I I like Mike Anderson. I, I just like him because he was I'm a black guy, so I like him because he's black. I guess I don't know. Eric, he brought us to the elite eight. So I guess I mean it was exciting. I don't know. I guess we just looking for something else exciting. I don't know. I really yeah. just wanted to call in. I know you about to get off. I wanted to call in. I'm excited. I'm trying to chill. That's it. That's really All right, man. Really well, hey, I yeah. appreciate your call. No problem, man. Uh, 
You shall hear from me again. Okay, man. Well, until next time, take it easy. Have a good night, Todd. You too, man. All right, we got Woo Pig up in the house. What's going on, bro? Man, hey, man, Tuss, we ain't want to talk about all that analytical stuff, man. We got us a coach, man. We got us a coach. That's what matters. All that, all that stuff we be talking about, talking about we got beer, we got why we not. Hey, man, I was, we was all over the place with who we going to hire, who we want. None of us. I knew, I heard last night that they was talking about interviewing Coach Cal, but I was like, eh, do I really want to put that out there? Do I really want Coach Cal? But now that we got him, I'm thinking about all the possibilities of players that we going to have. Bro, I'm hype. I'm hype. I I don't I don't know how you how else to look at this. Like how are you not excited? Like this is this is going to shake college basketball. I mean, we're no. going to be the topic of the week and you've got a national title game tomorrow. Yes. Like I mean, what are you talking about? I don't like his personality. I don't like who he is, bro. You could throw a dart at some names on a dartboard, and I guarantee you half of them got some got some stuff on them. I mean, all coaches cheat. Will Wade, wiretap Will. I mean, you're gonna come on now. I mean, yeah, all coaches cheat. I don't care. They all <laughs> cheat. They've all cheated. <laughs> Every last one of them. Your favorite coach is a cheater. <laughs> Bottom line. Have I'm, you? I'm, I don't know if I can put this up here, but this is this is was this was on Go our ahead. show last night tonight. Your favorite coach is a cheater. He is. Every last coach that you like is a cheater. He's a cheater. All of them have cheated. Did, Every last one of them. Have you heard? Have you heard? And I know, like, I try not to report on rumors and all this stuff, but there's some smoke out there about Minifield. There was something out there, and they someone shared it in our Discord, and I have seen it in another group chat I'm in. They believe that one of the reasons why coaches were turning this job down is because there's a possibility that Arkansas could be getting hit by the NCAA about with Minifield. Have y'all heard anything? I haven't heard that, but I, I, I heard listen. something about he was playing and he really shouldn't have been playing. All right. He got cleared and – and they never followed up with his grades and make sure he was doing what he was supposed to be doing. And he did get suspended for a little while. Or he quit playing. They stopped putting him on the floor. It kind of reminded me of the um, Marcus Monk deal all them years ago when they had when they had Marcus Monk on the on the floor, and then they had to stop playing him because something about eligibility or grades or something. Mm -hmm. um, that's been so long ago. I might even be getting him mixed up with wasn't Matt Jones. Uh, anyways. Um, God, I'm getting old, dude. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, that could all just be nonsense. I think that probably is fan fiction. I don't know if there's anything to that. I feel like we'd be hearing about it, like the big dogs, you know, like the on threes and those people would be talking about it. We're not hearing about that. So I, it might just all be smoke. But yeah, man, I mean, there's just there's this day and age, even now more so than ever, like everybody's doing something. Everyone's pulling stuff. Uh, you do have to give the benefit of the doubt to people. And as far as I know, you know, well, it just wouldn't shock me, right? If something did come out about, you know, with the whole Minifield, it wouldn't shock me. So just because you think Will Wade, uh, where did he go? Is he still in chat? Where'd he go? J-Dog, who thinks that we should, you know, he'd take Will Wade and he doesn't like Calipari's personality or doesn't like him or whatever and talking about him cheating everywhere he's been, bro. Will Wade was on a on a documentary on HBO. Them talking about yeah, paying I what the G that. League could pay or whatever. So what are you? Come on, we got to get over that. Like yeah, if he's gonna come here and win, I want him to do it the right way. Yes, but right now the right way is what? It's a big question mark, and it's all legal. Yeah, like he says, like Stephen Stephen thirteen eighty three said in your chat, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. They all uh, cheat. Everybody cheating. I mean, it's just what it is. Now yeah. you ain't got to cheat because I can pay you legally. But mm -hmm. they've all cheated. Yep. So Will Wade just was an idiot to be on the phone himself instead of using a middleman. I can't. Now, I still if, can't believe that. Have you seen yeah. that documentary? Have you seen it? I seen it. Dude he's from on like, the phone. Was he from Michigan? Oh, oh my god! 
And they kept him. LSU kept him for the rest of that year, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. Win yeah. at all costs, man. <laughs> yeah, hey. So, yeah, I, I'm I'm excited, man. I feel like, Hunter, I, I, I said it earlier in the show. I don't know if you guys talked about it, but I, I, I take back <laughs> everything I said in the last 24 hours, bro. <laughs> I, you know, I, I doubted him. I said, I don't know if he, if he can handle this situation. Then that gives me no confidence for how he handles football with what could happen in 24. It gives yeah. me now. I feel like, all right, maybe, maybe hey. he knows what he's doing after all. Hey, let me let me ask you this though, Ty. With everything that has happened, with the fact that we got Coach Cal mm -hmm. with a commitment to drop so much money in NIL. How do you feel about everybody saying Arkansas's broke and Arkansas ain't got the money? I did say I have said, and I've been on record as saying this. Yeah. I had a media person ask me about this not long ago. I didn't like the way Hunter handled NIL. I didn't like that edge. It felt like we were two years behind on that. Ole Miss has been doing their thing, but I have never bought into the idea that they're broke on NIL. I have never bought in on that. Um, and we know because the proof is in the pudding and what they've been able to do in the portal in both football and basketball and baseball. I mean, it's there. You've got a dude playing shortstop for you right now that everyone wanted. I'll tell you right now, everyone mm -hmm. wanted that dude. And he came to Arkansas. Now it's different baseball. It's the Mecca on campus. Like, let's not sit here and act like they had to really convince him to come here, but you saw it in basketball, the top eight, top five back-to-back -back transfer class. You saw it. We've seen it with football, some of the names they've been able to pull out. That's going to get harder, though, because the the product on the field has been garbage. Let's just be real, you know. Um, but no, I've, I've never bought into the NIL being broke. Never bought into it. Yeah. Man. Shout out hey. to Robert Bradford. Thanks, man, for being a new YouTube member. I don't ever push that, but hey, welcome. I appreciate it. Mr. T. Dub, both. Both of y'all's takes on this. Okay, we're getting asked a question. Is it worth spending a nut to get a Petrino? Is it worth spending a must get to get a Calipari? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. 100%. Wu <laughs> Pig looks like he could be my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Brian was on here earlier with the flex, man. He was wearing, he was, he's got them big old guns. <laughs> Like, whoa, put him away, sir. The gun show's not this week. Man. Hey, Ty, you need to come kick. You know, we ain't from the hill, so we're we going to be up there next weekend, man. You got to come kick it with us, man. We yeah, be, dude, where y'all at? We're going to be, be uh, at uh, Walk-Ons Friday at 630. I'll be there. Hold on, Friday 630. I think I could be there. Yeah. Yeah. Walk come on. kick it with us, man. Yeah, bro. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure, man. So we looking like we're going to have a good time with that, man. It'd be cool if you come through and kick it with us, man. Yeah, man. I'll come by. Absolutely. Okay, cool. I don't, I don't think um, I don't think I have anything going on Friday night. So, you know, I'm, I'll am i be there. I'll show up. Cool. Hey, hey. you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a lot of Hall fans in the building. So everybody going to be there showing love. So we're going to have a good time, man. Absolutely, man. Hey, make sure uh hit me up. To remind me i'm really bad about forgetting stuff hey you up. gotta i don't know how to get your info so is your info on your youtube page uh probably not okay i'm really bad about this stuff uh i'll hit you up on i'll hit you up on twitter okay all right that'll work that'll work all right man all right man have a good one i'll talk to you later man all right whoop pig up in the building baby i caught a little bit of their live tonight i didn't get a chance to watch much because i was like well i gotta go live too i didn't want to I didn't want to stomp on their feet or nothing, but I knew everyone was talking about this. I got to get out in front of it. I was late, but I got here. I got here. That's all that matters. Woo pig pod though. So maybe I'll, I'll uh, meet up with them on Friday night. Looking forward to it. Y'all, uh, y'all, y'all can, y'all can get me tipsy tie. Yeah. Yep. 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 Love this. Will Wade is still under sanction. Yeah. So Will Wade had he, had he, I think this is real. Had he come to Arkansas, he'd have to serve a 10 game suspension. And I guess he had to at McNeese too, right? So he would have had to have spent. Now the pushback on that from people in discord was, ah, who cares? You don't play anybody. 
Did you see our lineup this year? Your first 10 opponents who you played, North Carolina, Duke, Oklahoma. I mean, not that I know that had something to do with, you know, whatever. I'm sure Musk had some input on that. But uh, I think that also might be a Hunter Juracek thing as well. I'm sure he has some input, and they want to play harder opponents. And I'm I'm sure Will Wade would want to do the same. Um, Beard would be a home run. Cal, this is a good way to put it right here. Cal's a grand slam. I just don't know of another – I don't know of another – who else – when you have this kind of money, it feels like you're playing with house money. Cal makes most people short lists. Cal makes most people shortlist. I don't know how he doesn't. I, again, I know his recent, you know, on floor production has been a little underwhelming. Who knows, man? Fable might just be a, a whole new, a, a new breath of fresh air for him. He's got the background. You know, he's going to walk into some of these kids' houses and, oh my God. I mean, come on, dude. It doesn't get any better than Coach Cal walking into your living room, talking to your parents. I mean, come on. Sam Pittman is no longer on the hot seat. For me, I'm happy, says Curtis Tay. Robert Bradford says, uh, Kentucky, do you smell what, what the hogs are cooking? Here's the thing, though, Robert. I think they probably feel like they're going to be able to go out and get the next blue blood higher. And, and I, I think you'd be crazy if you're Kentucky to pass up someone like Beard. You got a beard again. I said it earlier. He is that next blue blood. He's going to be at a blue blood school, or maybe he sticks it out at Ole Miss because there's no pressure and he's there for five or six years and he takes them to the promised land. I have a hard time seeing that at Ole Miss, but beard is that caliber coach. I think he can make, I think he can make it happen. All right here. Top 12 winning his coaches don't grow on trees. I knew he was high. Is it that high? Wow. Sean Drury says uh, upgrade 100% with Cal Parry. Michael Kapeski, how many uh, UK UK signees will go to the U of A? I hope all of them, Michael. I hope all of them. All right. I am, I'm going to, I'm, all right. Now, for real, I'm going to go to bed here, get ready for tomorrow, get ready for the solar eclipse. Everybody's telling me, everyone's saying it's going to like be crazy and, we need to apparently be prepared for the worst. I don't know what that's all about. It's an eclipse. What am I missing about this? Y'all tell me, what am I missing about the eclipse? It's so damn scary. What I, I've, I've seen several of these. I don't recall everyone. I mean, they declared a state of an emergency. They declared a state of emergency in Arkansas. And I think all the states that hit that, that are in that line of, I hate to say line of fire, but 2012 all over again. Wear your glasses, right? You want to make sure you wear your glasses. We've got a pair. I think we've got an extra pair. If not, I guess I'm going to miss. Dude, this is right on time for Darkensaw. It's right on time, dude. Tomorrow, we got the eclipse. It's it's uh, a hog moon horizon, if you will. And maybe it's baseball's. Okay? Maybe I don't want to, you know, knock on wood. Maybe it's baseball's. You know what I'm saying, okay? If you're just listening to me and you're not watching your screen, just look at the screen. Maybe it's baseball. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Exciting day. Holy crap. I should say exciting evening. Hog fans, I, most of you I know are excited. I, I get the skepticism. I hear you. I think there is some stuff worth keeping an eye on in terms of what they do. But wow. Um incredible incredible what a what an evening i mean i'm not sleeping tonight by the way i'm sure you guys won't be either shout out to all of you patreon supporters thank you so much for an incredible month i have not updated the names yet i apologize it has just been crazy it's been hard for me to just sit down and have time to go through that all but uh, i should have the updated names list and we're giving away the Traylon burke's autographed card Former Arkansas player, I've got it right here. I'm giving that away. That's for people who were subscribers last month. Okay? A legendary status member is going to have a shot at that. Now, for this month, for the month of April, if you're a legendary status member this month, we got Alex Collins on deck. Autographed 
Alex Collins, that's big time. May he rest in peace. It's going to be sad to let that one go. I I really debated. He's my second favorite running back of all time in Arkansas. I really, really didn't want to give this one away, but I'm going to do it. Legendary status. For you got to be a legendary status member this month to get to get to get a to have a shot. Remember to have a shot at getting that Alex Collins autographed card. <clears throat> All right, I will. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Probably the next time you see me, we're either getting updated on Calipari, or maybe we're doing the wheel spin for the cards for the giveaways. So yeah. All right, that's it. You guys have a good night. I'll see you when I see you. Woo damn pig. Incredible. Incredible.